Hey everybody, now that Google has these great add-ons, I thought I'd demo a quick add-on that I'm starting to use called MailChimp. It's a mail merging uh, add-on that uh, uses a spreadsheet that has all of your uh, email addresses in it and some data that you want to mail merge into uh, an email that you use uh, a, a doc for. So if you uh, open up a, a Google Doc and you uh, type out a letter that you want everyone to receive, I'm throwing a little potluck, let's say, uh, Potluck starts at uh, 2 p.m. on uh, this Friday. I say, dear blank, thank you for signing up to bring something to our potluck. The party starts at 2 p.m. this Friday, and we have you signed up to bring blank. See you at the party. Well, in those blanks, I'm going to uh, put in some merge tags that'll take things uh, right off of our spreadsheet and merge them in there and then email them out. So if you take a look at our spreadsheet here, uh, I have people's names in the first column. And I have their email addresses in the second column, and I have what they're bringing to the party in the third column. So this could be a response sheet to a form that you put out, or, you know, for us educators, it could be anything. It could be uh, a student name, parent name, email address, uh, data from the most recent uh, quiz, uh, whatever you want to mail merge in. So on that Google Doc, uh, you would just go up to add-ons, and you say get add-ons. And you get an add-on called uh, MailChimp. There it is, Merge by MailChimp. Just add it because it's free. And you have to accept it one time. And once you do, it'll be part of uh, your add-ons drop-down. So here it is. Gives me a little preview of what that is. In an add-ons, it's now one of my add-ons. I want to send an email. So it says, great, John, there's three things you got to do to send an email. You got to choose your spreadsheet, add some dynamic content, and then add your contact and info. So let's get started. Let's choose a spreadsheet. Google, of course, looks at what's the last spreadsheet you opened up. And it goes, oh, how about, how about that one right there? That's the last one you opened. And that's the one we want. You can see it opens up a little sidebar here. And it's going to start uh, loading my spreadsheet data. So the first thing is the data source. It is this spreadsheet. It is on that sheet, sheet one. It's got the number of rows that uh, include data. And then the email address column is column B, where I spelled email wrong. Look at that. Fantastic. Now, merge tags. Let's add some merge tags. We know that over here I put dear blank, so I want to put the cursor here and put name there. And there it is. It's inserted the name tag there. Next is I left a blank down here for what people are bringing to the potluck. And so I want to insert what do you bring to the potluck. And it comes right off of that column. And there it is right there. And see you at the party, John. OK. And the last thing is, is to include your email info. Who is it from? It's from me. From which email address? You could actually have it sent from a different email address than the one you're working in. If you want to add a subject line, this permission reminder is if you are sending out to a bunch of people that might not remember why they're getting an email from you. Maybe they're on a mailing list. You would put in the explanation why uh, you are receiving this email because you signed up to be part of the, our potluck this Friday. I'm going to put this at the center of the footer there. Contact information. You can add your company, organization, and street address at the bottom, or you can skip that part. Then we take a preview of what this email is going to look like. So the first person on my mail merge was John. So dear John, thank you for signing up. Bring something to our potluck. The party starts at 2 p.m. this Friday, and we have you signed up to bring cake. See you at the party. You'll receive this email because you signed up to be part of the potluck this Friday, and people can unsubscribe. And it has a little watermark that says, powered by MailChimp. Okay, you can preview the next one and the next one. Just make sure everybody's name came out the way you wanted it to. And then when you're ready, you can just hit send email, and it will send an email to all of the people on that spreadsheet. You can also include pictures in this document and those will be uh, merged in as well. Okay, using the uh, Merge by MailChimp. I hope you enjoy it.